Well, I am um, hoping that we're joined now by another guest on this, and that is Viktor Zora from the Ukrainian State Service of Information Protection. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, among the sites that apparently has been targeted is the DIA website, which is a key system storing personal vaccination data, certificates, e-passports, driving licenses. Are you confident that none of that data has been stolen? Yes, no data has been stolen since uh, this is just a transport proxy uh, that uh, is uh, transferring data from state registers to uh, users mobile devices. So all uh, state registers uh, are safe and were not hacked uh, instead of uh, uh, almost 70 websites of central and uh, uh, regional government bodies. Are you concerned about anything that uh, might have been released here, any information that has been released? Yes, of course we, we are concerned uh, since we uh, uh, continue investigating this uh, uh, serious uh, cyber attack. Uh, since uh, uh, there is a potential risk that not only uh, websites were hacked, uh, but uh, we don't have any signals that uh, uh, any data has been leaked. But we continue investigating and uh, uh, try to find out if uh, uh, that, that uh, there is uh, nothing happened more than defacing of websites. So to, to individuals, you are still checking whether any information could have been leaked or might be leaked uh, in future as a result of this attack? Yes, of course. And there is no information and uh, uh, we cannot confirm that uh, anything happened with state registers and uh, personal data from these registers. What um, information have you got about where this attack has come from, given the previous accusations that, that you know, previous attacks might have come from Russia? So there are some signals and some information that uh, uh, some tactics and tactics uh, uh, are similar to those uh, Russia used to attack uh, uh, infrastructures uh, uh, in other countries. And this statement from Ministry of Culture and Information Policy uh, confirms uh, this, but I cannot uh, attribute uh, it to Russia officially since uh, we uh, do not have uh, enough evidence of this and we continue investigating. Do you anticipate ever getting to a point where you, you can confirm where this has come from? Uh, of course, and that depends on time and uh, amount of resources that we can use and especially with the help of our uh, international partners. Uh, such as UK and USA uh, and uh, European Union. Uh, so uh, in NATO, of course, uh, we, we, we need to provide a, a very deep investigation of this case. And uh, I hope that we have enough evidence to, to attribute uh, the attacker. Okay, Viktor Zora from the Ukrainian State Service of Information Protection. Thank you very much indeed.